The current virus has its origins in both American and European pigs. Until recently, American pigs carried a single pure swine flu, an H1N1 virus which had mutated from humans in the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. But in 1998, it suddenly mixed, reassorted, to get genes from human and bird flu viruses too. The number of strains exploded. The bird flu genes making the virus able to spread much faster. But very recently, one strain, an H1N2, somehow mixed with a strain from European pigs to create a new H1N1, the one that's now jumped to the human population. Flu viruses have proteins on their surface: hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, the H and N that defines them. Hemagglutinin is what binds to human cells to invade them. On this virus, its target is the upper respiratory tract, where infections are usually milder and where it's easier for the virus to spread. It would be much more dangerous if it targeted the lower respiratory tract and the lungs. The hemagglutinin molecule has to be cut by enzymes in the body before it can enter human cells. This virus has a single site where that happens. Pathogenic strains like H5N1, bird flu, have multiple sites, making them much more dangerous. And in its other genes, some variants of one called NS1 can trigger an overreaction of the immune system called a cytokine storm that can be fatal. But in this virus, NS1 is not unusual.